Hi, welcome to Atlas Ceramics. My name is Mike Head. We're here today to talk about some typical questions we get asked. Today's topic is about what is the difference between PVA and acrylic primers. Here at Atlas Ceramics, we sell a product called uh, Weber PR360. This is a sterile uh, acrylic primer, which is basically used prior to tiling on floors and walls on substrates. What it does, it regulates the porosity of the substrate that we're tiling and it improves the bonding and the strengthening of the uh, two surfaces binding together. Um, we have used this for many years and we recommend it. It is used for tile adhesive, it is used for leveling compounds and our tanking kit process, okay, for tanking a bathroom. Um, it also improves um, when you're levelling the floor as well, floor levelling, as when you uh, put the PR360 onto the substrate that you're levelling actually helps prevent uh, so many bubbles coming through uh, from levelling the surface. And so when your surface is finished, it's a lot smoother rather than having a lot of broken bubbles open. Um, so. Before tiling, we recommend that you use the PR360. In most cases, in applications on many surfaces it goes on, we dilute it three to one. So I'm going to do a demonstration here on this particular tile. And this, what I'm going to do is come back to you at a later point, once it's all done, and show you what is the difference between the two and how it actually reacts to the surface of this tile. Okay? So first of all, we're going to do a demonstration of how to mix it. So I've got a bucket here, I've got a cup full of water. Um, in this particular application, we're going to dilute it three to one. All of the information can be found at the back of um, uh, the bottle here of the surfaces that you want to uh, prime and of course the ratios that you use. Also, it is in the Weber information booklet as well and it's got all the surfaces you can do and also the dilutions that you need to make it at. Okay? Um, if you need one of these, just contact us and we'll pop one in the post to you. Okay, so I'm going to do the first part of the demonstration. I'm going to put my water in. Give the old uh, 360 a bit of a shake. Okay, and as I said, I'm going to be doing it as a three to one mix or ratio. Okay, it's about right. There we go. Good job. Let's put that there. Cut down. Give it a bit of a stir or mix it up. And you can see it's a nice sort of white, creamy sort of texture or sight to it. Feels good. Yeah, so there we go. That's what that is. Okay, so we're going to open up the uh, PVA and uh, mix this. Now it's recommended on this particular one one to five so we'll uh, put some PVA into a little cup here and then um, dilute it with some water okay there we go okay so I've got some PVA in there some water Do like that. There we go. Takes a little while just to uh, mix that through. Not so uh, easy in a cup. Would be a lot better on a proper paint pot or something like that. But uh, for this, just this little test or this ex experiment should be suffice for us both. Okay, so I think that's just about done. Right, so as I said I'm going to paint the surfaces. One side will be in the PVA as if you were priming a, a surface beforehand and one side in the acrylic primer. So I'll just do that. There we go. I've made a little line through the middle there. Shaky hand. 
back. There we go, because we don't really need that much for this area. So this can be done on wood, concrete, bricks, whatever, concrete. Okay, so there we go. That's the surface done there. Put that down. Now for the acrylic primer, which is in the bucket here. So it goes on a lot better, a lot whiter, sort of like a nice bluey sort of white. Down to the middle. Feels a lot better. So it's doing what I want to do, binding to the surface well. And that's going to create my adhesion between the two surfaces, my tiling or leveling compound or tanking system. There we go. So that normally would take on a normal surface about two to two hours, something around there until it's dry before I can tile on top of it. But for this sort of experiment, we're going to just leave this for 24 hours and then we're going to come back to it and then we're going to do a water test to see how the two surfaces react to water. And if you can imagine that when you're using tile adhesive, it is a wet surface or leveling compounds or paints such as tanking kits, that sort of thing, um, you can see what's actually going to happen and then hopefully convince you that whenever you prime before tiling or leveling or using the tanking kit, you will look at getting the PR360 before you do anything else. I'll come back to you in 24 hours. Till then, see you then. Thank you. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so we've had some time for this, uh, the two surfaces to dry. And uh, one side we've got the PVA and the other side we've got the acrylic primer by Weber. And what we're going to do here now is actually just see what happens when you add normal water to the surfaces and what it actually does. Normal drying times, one to five hours before it's tacked up and then you can carry on with it. Uh, we've left this for 24 hours. And so it's the next day, so we're going to crack on and give you the test. Okay, so I've got some water. So I'm just gonna drop it onto the suit. So, oh, before I do that, just wanna see if you can actually see the two differences in the surface. You can see where we put the line there. This side is a lot more shiny. Looks like there's some sealer on. Where the PVA, it's a little bit more matte and it's a bit patchy. Doesn't look that great either. This side looks really nice and makes the tile look actually quite nice as well. So here we go, put some water on it. You may not be able to see this so well, and hopefully you'll take my word for it. But as I start to massage it on the PVA side, you can actually start to see it turn like a whiteness in it. And that is the actual glue, the, or the priming surface, turning back to its original state. Which of course, when you're trying to adhere two surfaces together, and the surfaces are damp through either the leveling compound or through the tanking systems or even through the adhesive and then you're going to affect the bond strength between the two uh, parties one being the substrate and one being the adhesive and then sar. So if I do carry on doing that you can actually see well I can see it coming off. Now I've got a towel here and wipe the surface off dry Okay, I'm not sure you can see this, but I certainly can see this. I'm trying to reflect it a little bit. You can see the line there where we painted it the other day, and you can see that the PVA has just come clean away. And the other side, being the Weber acrylic primer, is still intact, so it's still going to do its job. So that's why Atlas Ceramics, we always promote the Weber PR360 acrylic for priming any surfaces. Make sure the surface is dry, it's clean of any dust, okay, and then prime it with the normal mix, which is usually three to one. If you need any further information about these particular products and how to use it, then please do not hesitate to give us a call or contact us via our website. Till the next time, thank you for listening.